Yo, YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? It's your boy Tecmo here again, and I'm back with another review and unboxing. And as you can see, we're not in my office. We're actually downstairs because this box is a little bit too big and too heavy for me to lug up all those steps. And I know you guys can't see the whole box yet. I will show it to you in a minute, but this is the Acoustic Audio 15-inch Bluetooth speaker. I picked this up off of Amazon. It was about 135 bucks, but I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna know all the specs and get the most up-to-date pricing. With all of the gyms being closed and me working from home every day, I still gotta find a way to work out. I'm not trying to gain a whole bunch of weight. So that being said, it's gonna be a pretty straightforward video. I'll bust the box open for you and tell you a little bit more about the speaker. Then I'll set it up and see how it sounds. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm in my garage now, and it's a pretty large garage. That's why I went with the 15-inch speaker. Hopefully, it'll be able to fill it up with sound. Up until today, this is the speaker that I've been using down here. It's made by Hotec, and it's a pretty good little Bluetooth speaker. It does come with a remote and a microphone, but for this garage, it's just too small. And there you have it. There's a full shot of the box itself. I would say it's about three feet tall. And it's also a little heavy as well. I haven't weighed it, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably between 20 and 30 pounds. So let me go ahead and bust the box open for you and then put it all together and we'll test it out and see how it sounds. All right, so while I'm busting the box open, a couple other reasons why I picked this speaker up. It comes with a stand that you can sit the speaker on. It also comes with a remote and it comes with a microphone as well. Once you open up the outer box, you have your speaker and all your accessories in an inner box. I guess they double box it to keep everything safe while it's in transit. All right, so the unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. What you see in front of you is everything you get inside of the box. This right here is the stand that you can use to put the speaker on. Then you also get a wired microphone in this little box right here. As you can see, nothing special. It's a regular microphone. It is wired, like I said. You got your on and off switch, and that's about it for that. Next, you get your power cord. Then you get your user manual and all your documentation, and your remote is in there as well. The stand for the speaker comes assembled already, so you don't have to do much to get the speaker onto it, and it is adjustable as well. I'll show you a little bit better once I actually get the speaker put onto it. Here's the front side of the speaker. You have your 15 inch subwoofer down here, and then you have your horn right up top. On the top and on the sides of the speaker, you have handles, which make it very easy for you to pick up and transport the speaker if you need to. This speaker is powered, so it has its own internal amplifier. You don't need an external amplifier to power it. It also features a bunch of different inputs that you can use to play your music from. Of course, you can do Bluetooth, you have a USB right here. You have an SD card slot. It does have an FM radio tuner. Then towards the middle of the speaker, you have a spot for one microphone. You have a spot for another microphone or a guitar. Then you have RCA ins and outs. And then you have levels for your microphones, mic one and mic two. Then you have your little equalizer settings back here as well. You have a line level control for MP3. You have echo controls as well if you're using echo with your microphone. And then you have your master volume right here. Towards the bottom, you have your on and off switch for your LED lights, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. You have your on and off switch, and then you have your spot for your charging cord. A couple things I forgot to mention, you do have wheels on the bottom of the speaker, so you can roll them if you'd like to. And installing the stand is very simple. You just use this to tighten it down once you put the pole inside this little hole right here. The Bluetooth is connected successfully.
All right, so now I have the microphone plugged in. This should give you an idea of how the mic sounds if you're buying this to use a microphone with it. All right, guys, so there you have it. The acoustic audio speaker is all connected and set up. I definitely am happy with my purchase so far. I don't know how well the microphone on my camera was able to capture it, but the speaker sounds pretty good. It provides you a nice full sound. You get deep bass and the highs and mids are relatively clear. Now the speaker is not crystal clear. When you have the gains turned all the way up, you will get some distortion. But the speaker does get extremely loud. It has no problems in terms of output and filling my whole garage up with sound. Like I showed you, the included mic is wired and it doesn't sound all that great either. It'll be fine for karaoke or small gatherings, but anything outside of that, I don't think the quality is good enough for professional use. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you coming through and watching the video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. But until then, y'all be safe, y'all stay positive, and most importantly, y'all have a great day. It's your boy Tech Mo, and I'm out. Peace. If you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you don't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.